There are lots of reasons for working with vector graphics in that, and one of them is that you get a nice clean image. But one of the problems is if you create yourself a vector graphic or you import a vector graphic um, and then you go through to embroidery canvas without converting it to an embroidery, let's just click on embroidery canvas there and it's switching through. Okay, so here's my vector graphic it's showing because I've got my vector graphic icon highlighted up the top here. I can hide it or show it. But if I look over in the color film, there's nothing there. So I can't select that vector graphic. I can't resize it. I can't do anything with it. I would have to create my embroidery and then adjust my embroidery afterwards to the size I want if the vector graphic is not the right size. And it's hard sometimes to visualize what size. For instance, if I bring a work area in here, um, there's a, this is some um, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters so about a four inch square if I wanted my vector graphic to be smaller or larger in that square before I start digitizing I can't do it um, it's just not possible to select it or do anything with it the beauty of it though is that it's transparent in that you've only got the outlines you haven't got any background around it now there is a way if you want to be able to manipulate and move and size your image and that is to instead of coming through to embroidery canvas is to export your graphic and then insert it so i'm going to go back to art canvas and delete that um, graphic so I'll just go back to Art Canvas. But before I delete it, I'm going to export it. And it's always a good idea to export your graphics. If you've been playing around and designing something, you would have spent a lot of time doing it. Um, so it's always a good idea to export it. Go File, Export. And you can choose your format down here um, and I've chosen EMF and I'll tell you why in a little while um, and I've already done it so I called it Simple Flower. Now for some reason the EMFs show this type of thumbnail so I'm not, never going to get an image of the actual graphic there but that's okay. Um, I've called it Simple Flower EMF and I've put it in my clip art folder under flowers. So I'm not going to click on export because I've already done it but you would then click on export and it would save wherever you chose. So I have done that so I can now select this graphic and delete it and go through to Embroidery Canvas and up here we've got Insert Artwork option and if I left click on that I can navigate to where that um, simple flower was and left click on it and there I get a preview and if you look down here you can see that I've saved it as an EMF and over here we've got all the artwork file formats that we can open or view in here and open with this insert artwork. So if I use the drop down menu we can use a bitmap, a JPEG, a PNG, a WMF, Windows Vector Bitmap or an EMF, Windows Vector Bitmap. Now that's got a slash bitmap so and so has the WMF and then or you can use an EPS which is also got vector slash bitmap so I'll show you what happens when I actually um, insert it this way this slash bitmap's got a bit of a clue there so I'll just click off that so it is an EMF file. I created it as a vector graphic with the vector tools. I did not save it as a bitmap. I did not convert it to a bitmap. It was a vector graphic. So I'm going to open it and it has come in. Now it's got a white background and if I zoom in 
you can see the pixels. So obviously those three vector formats that are listed here in the insert artwork have the ability to be converted to a bitmap by the software. So what it's done is converted it to a bitmap. And now you can see in the color film that we have got the bitmap there. If I go to color blocks, we will only see the yacht sailing boat indicating there's an image there. But if I go back to individual objects, I can actually see the image there. And you can see sizing handles. So I can scale that image in relation to my workspace or in relation to another embroidery design or whatever I want to scale it in relation to um, before I start to digitize. And you can even, you know, skew it and do all the other things you want to do with that. I'm going to undo and undo and I'm actually going to undo to remove that because there is one other way that you can do this and that is by in Art Canvas before you come through. So I'll go back to Art Canvas and I'll open that image again, the vector image and just to prove that it was a vector all along I'll select it, import it and hit enter to anchor it at the actual size it was and if I zoom in here you can see there are no pixels if I go to my reshape tool and click on one of the objects oh, actually it's grouped so I'll need to ungroup it first let me select it and ungroup it Now it's all individual objects. If I select one of those objects and go to the reshape tool, let's select this one instead because that's a, whoops, no. Oh, I converted it to curves, so they're all showing curves. But if I select an object, go to reshape, and I've got all my vector reshaping handles here with the arrows. So it's definitely a vector graphic. Right, click off and select the whole thing. I might just group it. Have I got two? No, it's just weird that it's showing up as a simple flower and then all these under here. Let me just ungroup it again. Ah, now it's fully ungrouped. Okay. So I'll group the whole thing and come up to bitmaps and we can convert it to a bitmap here just by left clicking and you can fill in what you would like here. So I've got RGB color, 300 dots per inch. Remember, do not tick anti-aliasing when you're doing this for embroidery and transparent background now, as I said in previous videos, even though I've ticked this, it'll come through as a white background more than likely. And I'll go OK. So now it's a bitmap. Now if I go through to Embroidery Canvas, it'll come through as a bitmap. So I can scale it. I can um, move it around. The only problem is it has got a white background. So if you're putting it in relation to other embroidery items, you're not going to be able to see the embroidery items underneath because by default, the um, picture is always at the top. If I get um, an ellipse and create a circle there, I'll select that and make it a fill. If I bring that over, that will sit on top of the image. I don't think I can move that up. No, there's no option to move it under the image. So anything you create afterwards will sit on top of the image. But if you bring the image in after you've already got an embroidery there, so let's select the image and delete it. And let's insert the image. And let's see where it comes in the scheme of things. Simple flower EMF open. There it is. Okay, it's always going to go underneath. So the white, even of an existing embroidery, so the white background's not going to be such a huge problem anyway. 
But what I really wanted to clear up was the difference to be between a vector graphic coming in um, straight from Art Canvas versus the bitmap in that the vector graphic is fixed, you can't do anything with it, but the bitmap can be scaled or moved in relation to other objects on the workspace. The other thing too is you may want to let's just move that out of the way you may want to create your embroidery let's just do a quick um, auto digitize let's just use the magic wand center line will do convert the image okay got a few little gaps there and we only want two colors so let's go down to two black and white you can see the white there um, let's hope let's just go okay with that and I actually wanted the outline did I get the outline Ah, it's gone in white. I've outlined the white area, not the actual black line. Let's undo that. Let's get on to the black line. There we go. So I'm basically just clicking on those black lines to create some outline embroideries. Zoom in so I'm yep I've got it there we go and the circle something went strange there let's undo that let's get rid of that white one I made before and let's try that there we go that line was a bit thicker so it's made a bit of a mess but basically I've got a, an embroidery on top of there now let's just select those objects and make them a different color so you can see that there is an embroidery there there we go I've got a red okay so we've got a red embroidery there on top of the drawing <coughs> now I can select I'll delete that circle Now I can select the drawing and the embroidery. So I've got everything selected and I can scale them as one. So that's really good too. You couldn't have done that with the vector graphic. So if you wanted to scale and then perhaps continue digitizing with other parts of the drawing, you could do that provided you've got a bitmap in here. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learnt a few things. Please subscribe and feel free to comment below because I will answer any questions you might have. And if you've got suggestions for another video, let me know.